Uh, at least, uh, I'm okay. I forgot I didn't have front brakes. Or, they didn't work. Oops. <laughs> Why did it have to be a sticker bush, though? Ouch! <laughs> Continuing our exploration of Idaho Falls, we stumbled upon a free rodeo going on downtown. We were so intrigued that we decided to splurge and go to the real rodeo. We're going to a rodeo! You go pet the snake? Where? <laughs> right there. Now go. Today we are going to a Craters of a Noon. Hey everybody, hey. today we're hanging out with the Stamper family again. You've seen them in Virginia and North Carolina and Michigan and now Idaho. Today we are going to go walk on the moon. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Craters of the Moon is a vast ocean of lava flows with scattered islands of cinder cones and sagebrush. It lies along the Great Rift of Central Idaho, a series of deep cracks that stretch 52 miles through the monument. We walked on hardened lava that coiled, squeezed, and solidified into the most unreal shapes and textures. This is called pahoehoe from the Hawaiian word for ropey. Between 15,000 and 2,000 years ago, lava erupted from the Great Rift and grew to cover 618 square miles. We explored a cinder cone that formed around an ancient volcanic vent. As the gas-charged lava was blown violently into the air, it broke into smaller fragments or cinders that solidified and fell around the vent to form a cone. We hiked up ancient volcanoes and looked down into their craters. Craters of the Moon has huge caves formed by lava tubes. To explore these, we needed a special permit from the park ranger to help prevent the spread of white nose syndrome to the bats that live in the caves. These caves were awesome. Flashlights are strongly recommended. Craters of the Moon was fascinating and everyone had a great time exploring this moon-like landscape. As always, we had an excellent time hanging out with the Stampers and can't wait until our paths cross again. <laughs>